Hey guys, welcome back to Devrite Technologies. In this video, we are going to do some hands-on on C Sharp language. That is, we are going to call our direct line API from our API endpoint. And then we'll call that particular API endpoint from our WhatsApp webhook endpoint. So let's get started. I'm here on my project in Visual Studio. I'll open the controllers. I'll create a new API endpoint. That is, I'm going to create a controller. And host type will be API controller empty. Add. I'm going to also look at the documentation to give the best name to my controller because documentation al already has those details available. So I'm currently doing the authentication part where I'll be creating an API endpoint to get a direct line token. And using that direct line token, I'll be going ahead and call the respective APIs that is start a conversation, sending messages, receiving messages. All right, so let's go to authentication. I'm going to scroll down because yesterday we saw that there is a piece of code that we'd like to have. So this is the one. So it's a home controller. What it does, it gets the secret. Using that secret, it generates the direct line token by making an API call to this endpoint URI. This we saw yesterday with the help of Postman. And here it is initializing a user ID. I think user ID, let's send it from the webhook endpoint. And what else it has? It's It adds the user ID, gets a response, checks if it is a success response, then deserializing the response, and finally, creating a chat config object, having the token, user ID, and that is on viewing on the, this because this is a MVC project, .NET Core MVC, so we'll not be viewing on the screen, we'll be sending this to the webhook endpoint that we will be calling this from. So I'm going to name this as token controller. Perfect. Let's add logger. Also, let's add I configuration. Or instead, I do not need to add I configuration here. I can just make use from here itself. Instead, I can just call secret. I'm going to name this as direct line seek DL secret. And here, let's get it from app settings.json. Manage user secrets, deal secret, perfect. Let's get the secret from channels. The best way to store the secret would be the keyword. 
for simplicity purpose we are not doing this we have created uh, old videos as well where we are getting the secrets from the keyboard you can have a look at that one of the major series that was uh, multi-cloud chatbot on jdbot's channel so you can have a look at that series where we get all the secrets from app configuration which is connected to the keyboard behind the scene and initialize my dl secret perfect now let's create endpoint i'm going to name this as i think http post the reason being i'll be passing some payload which will have the user id and using that user id will create a direct line token so this will be http post Or instead, I can just use get and add parameters. That will be best way. I think this will make sense. User ID. Okay. Uh, let's make that post a thing as well as task I action reserve. And this will be asynchronous. Perfect. Let me just get rid of all the statements. Now, I think this is a good condition. If user ID is null or empty, we are sending bad request. User ID is required. And this condition is not valid. Let's get rid of that. I think let's make this as get DL token a same. Okay. Perfect. Let's have a look at the documentation. We got the secret. Now we are going to make an API call. Let's do that. So I'm going to copy till the end. And also, I am going to need direct line token and chat config as my model classes okay what it is doing here it is creating the user id by appending the dl underscore and this good we don't need that so let's remove this underscore dl secret user id we are getting from the request parameter and what else we have perfect let's send this return ok config perfect i think we successfully created our endpoint perfect now it's time for us to test this Start the application. Open Postman. I'll copy this local host. 
slash API slash what was the endpoint? It's token slash token question mark and user ID. Most probably uh, the user IDs will be the four numbers, but uh, we'll encode with something else. Uh, for now, let me say ABC123. This is my user ID. Okay. And let me get rid of this body. Perfect. Send the request. There we have the token and the user ID. So we successfully got the direct line token. In our upcoming videos, we'll be making use of this token to call the other APIs. That is starting a conversation, sending an activity, and receiving an activity. So that's all. See you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.